Tell me about the first time you did it, though. Um, the dancing? Yeah, you were nervous. I was nervous, and I went up on stage, and I'm pretty sure I looked like a freaking frog up there. Not <laughs> And listen, I for a week, I was, like, dancing at home just to see how it looks. Really? And I was like, okay, I can do this. It's fine. Yeah, I can do this. And I went on stage, and I was like, oh, my fucking God, I can't do this. But I did it, and I made, like, $50 in tips. Okay. Which was, which is 500 Danish crowns. So, so it's a lot for... There, that was, that's a lot. Yeah. Oh, all right. So, was is it just dancing on stage, or are you doing lap dances? No, and all that shit we, too? it was actually a champagne club. So what we did, we were selling packages, like VIP packages with champagne bottles. Okay. Um, but it was a fully nude club, so everything was, you know, because prostitution is legal, so everything, you know, was it's fine. Naked. Right. So, is there? Are you allowed to fuck in the yeah. club? Yeah. If really? that's what you want as a dancer, yeah, because you have when you when you get a VIP room, you have a security that's standing beside like beside the door, right? And um, you just knock on the door if you want more champagne because uh -huh. they have to buy bottles for as long as they're in there, so they just serve you the bottles, right? Um, and keep you safe basically. So and there are cameras, but so yeah, you're allowed how to. How do you do that? Or did you I didn't do it at that at that time well i mean i i did jerk a guy off and you know he fingered me whatever but he also paid like five grand wow for a few hours that's so, worth the you jerk know, um i didn't mind that and it was it was his first time in a strip club and he was like all innocent and you made him come in the booth yeah wow good for him though good for him <laughs> yeah and how'd you clean your hand off I actually knocked on the door. <laughs> oh, you wiped it off like this. More no. champagne, please. Yeah, I was knocked on the door, and, and I kind of, I was like, "Excuse me, sir." He was like, "Yeah, can, can you can you give me like a napkin because we so had just an wiped accident. it on the security shirt." That would be so nasty. <laughs> I didn't have the heart, but he was like, "Here's a wet wipe." He actually had a wet wipe. He him. keeps wet wipes too. Yeah, you get to stay fresh. For my kid's ass, I well, don't like wet for wipes. For his ass, you oh, said it. And yeah. your penis. No, my girl makes me wipe. She she wet wipes my ass before she eats my ass on camera for OnlyFans, you know? That's good. Yeah. That's good. And I sometimes mean, she'll find a little brown that she wasn't but, you expecting, know, you know? I mean, it's <laughs> a little chocolatey, but... And then she'll be very thankful that it's on the wet wipe and not in her mouth. Yeah, I mean... It, although, although, to me, that's It shit, happened that's part to me it. once, though. I, so... This Whoa, is, all this right. This is disgusting, Let's but I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it. Eating shit. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to share it. This is very, this is highly like, so when me and my, my husband started dating. At what age? Uh, well, we've been together, what, seven years now. So oh. I was, it was the same time, like when I started dancing, we started dating. Okay. But it was, it was, he was here and I was there in uh -huh. Sweden. So, you know, but he came to visit and. We were, we were doing some freakish shit, like choking, passing out, kind of whatever. Oh, Josh. Josh is into that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and um, he kind of fucked me in the ass. Ooh, kind of. No, he did fuck me in the ass. Okay. I love anal. I'm down. I, I love it. Wow. And there was some... Some shit. Some surprise that came dick. with it. Yeah. Yeah. And freaky as I am, I'm like, oh, fuck it. Yeah. You ate it oh, off? Oh, fuck it. What? I took it in my mouth. Oh! <laughs> with shit on it. With, with shit on it. Yeah. You ate oh. the chili dog. Yeah. Oh! How was that? It didn't taste much. I'm sorry. I know this is disgusting, but it, it no, only happened this once. This is a safe place. It's okay. You yeah, can share place. it with us. I mean, it, it was my own. So We're like your therapist. Yeah. It, it was your shit. It was mine. Did it bother you, the taste N of it? No. Not really. Was you like, hmm, I could do this again? No. No, I was a little bit, uh, will this cause like any stomach issues for me now? No, nah, you'd be all right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I did it. Wow. Was yeah. he taken aback at all? No, he was. He thought it was super hot. The first time I had a girl do it to me, mm -hmm. this fucking mental patient, she was nuts. And she fucking did it. She would do anything? It, and I, my, my jaw just hits my fucking belly button. I'm just like... <laughs> I cannot believe. But was it a lot of shit or just a little nugget? I don't even remember Ooh. if it was visible, but it was just the fact that she took it in her mouth immediately yeah. after. just blew my fucking mind. Oh, so I have this crazy story. We were shooting a foursome. It was my husband and three of my girlfriends. We were shooting a, a scene in 
in Vegas. Okay. And this was the first time I, I was ever shooting with this girl. A foursome, you, your husband, and two girls? And two, uh, no, yeah, yeah, exactly, okay. and two girls. One of the girls I, I've known, I've shot a lot with her, but the other girl was first time. We talked online, but this was first time ever we were shooting. Right. And, you know, my, my husband was fucking me in the ass, and she was, like, behind, like, touching my ass, whatever. And then he pulls his dick out, and she just shoves it into her mouth. And you weren't expecting that? Well, I didn't know it was happening because I was being, I was in, buried in somebody's pussy. So I wasn't really <laughs> mentally there of, you know, whatever. Right. And then my husband was like, do you know what she did? I was like, no, what did she do? I took my dick out of your ass and she just shoves it straight into her mouth, like all the way down, like wipes it clean. Right. And this is the first time I ever shot with this girl. Some girls just have no fear. I'm like... What if there was a surprise on there? My husband was like, she would have taken it. I'm like, yeah. I like this. You say surprise. Like yeah. it, it makes it cuter. Yeah. Like it's not poop. It's not bad. Like it's not <laughs> shit. Just a surprise. Just well, a he, surprise. he loves that shit though because he's freaky. So he's like, yeah, this is super hot. This is like the hottest shit ever. I'm like, yeah, good for her. I'm just not. You're, you're, uh, it, I'll do it if I know the girl, you right. know, if I shot with her a couple of times. I know she's clean, but. Right. Your first time doing anal, what was it like? Oh, it was... How old? I was 23. Okay. No, I was younger. Sorry, sorry. That was a lie. I was 17. Oh, jeez. Uh, thankfully, I did a guy with a really small dick. Okay. So, <laughs> you know. and he, I had to stop myself from saying something. Like, yeah, yeah, but... Just like him. <laughs> I don't believe it, but okay. But that, that's why I laughed, and it probably didn't yeah. make any sense. So he had a really small dick, and he had he was so worried about getting girls pregnant for some odd reason, so he just fucked everybody in the ass. Smart. <laughs> what a genius excuse. So smart, smart. <laughs> so yeah, that was the first time. That's brilliant. And then I just I was like, oh, this is quite nice. You liked it, Governor. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> did, you get, did you get off from that? Oh yeah. Really? More than more than vagina. Really? Oh yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm like vagina is nice. You know, what percentage funny. though would you say that you do in your private life? Because like my girl and I, we like doing anal, but I would still say we probably 90%. do it. You do anal that much? Yeah. Ninety. What is your pussy even doing? You're just ignoring I don't know. it? Yeah. Well, I play with it. You know, tickle it <laughs> a little bit. But Is this like your husband's fetish? Uh-huh. Got just, him big boobs. He just loves anal so oh, yeah. much that he's just ignoring your He vagina. just loves the surprises. Yeah, he does. It's one of those he, sick yeah. fucks. Uh, I'm yeah. going to be honest with you. It takes a lot to surprise me at this point in this podcast, but you've kind of wowed me with this whole thing. Oh. You're welcome. I don't. I don't think I've had a girl say she does ninety percent anal in her oh, private yeah. life. Oh yeah. I mean, I I rather do anal. I mean, I like vagina, but I feel like vaginas need so much attention. What like, do you mean? You by know, that? you have to put, you have to put it in, and then you have to find a G spot, and then you just have to like go on forever. And but when you find the G spot, I mean, you're really you're just putting your dick in and out, right? Like, yeah, you, you I know. can't really control where it goes once it's in there. But, you know, when you, when you fuck a girl in the ass, the vagina is free for, like, having things in there, you know, playing with the pussy. It's so you'll just, throw you know, a dildo in there, too? Yeah. I'll, I'll th yeah. How many yeah. times would you say you have sex a week? Four or five, maybe. Okay. Yeah. And then I do content, you know, solo content and whatever. So I fuck myself, right. you know. Yeah. Okay. A lot.